Hello, I'm Edward Tart, math teacher. This is a solution video for my math challenge entitled, What's the Probability? In that challenge, I said, suppose you have five cards, numbered one through five, and you deal them out to yourself one at a time so that you can see the numbers. And as you do so, you count one, two, three, four, five. And my question was, what is the probability that there is no matchup between your counting and the sequence that you deal to yourself? For example, suppose you count, as I said, one, two, three, four, five, and as you do so, you deal three, one, four, two, five. Well, there's a matchup. When you said five, you dealt five. I circled it. I will call that a hit. And we don't want a hit. Suppose, though, that as you count one, two, three, four, five, you deal the cards in this order. Two, four, five, one, three. There is no matchup between what you said and what you dealt. I will call that a win. And the question is then, in those terms, what is the probability that you will deal yourself a win? Well, probability answers are in the form of a fraction. And in this problem, the fraction will be the wins over the total possible arrangements. And the total possible arrangements is based on numbers of choices. So consider the first card that you deal to yourself. There are five choices, five possibilities. It might be a one, a two, a three, a four, or a five. And so I wrote a five in that box, meaning five choices, five alternatives. After that's done, you have four cards remaining, and so you have four choices for this position, followed by three alternatives for this position, then two alternatives for this position, and then only one alternative for the final position. And to get the total number of choices, we multiply these numbers. 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 is 120. That's 120 total possible ways of dealing the 5 cards. So that 120 will be the denominator of our probability answer. Now we must focus on getting the numerator, which will be the possible number of wins. If there were only four cards, there would be four times three times two times one possible orders of dealing, and that's 24. I have imagined four cards numbered two through five, leaving out the one, and I have written out all 24 orders of dealing the four cards. Uh, Notice I have six of them starting with a two, six starting with a three, six starting with a four, and six starting with a five. Now, I left out the one. The one I'm going to put in shortly, but it could be put in at the beginning, or it could be put in between the second and third, or between the third and the fourth, or between the fourth and fifth, or at the end. So there are five possible positions for the one. If I put the one at the beginning, there won't be any wins at all because that one at the beginning will be a matchup with my saying one. So I won't put the one at the beginning. I choose to put the one between the this number and this number. So I've inserted all the ones. Now I'm going to circle all the hits. Uh, there aren't any hits in the first column. There aren't any hits in the second column. But there are some threes in column number three. That is, I would say three and deal three in the cases where I've circled. Now in the fourth column, I have circled all the fours. That's where I would say four and simultaneously deal myself a four. And now I have also circled all the fives in column number five. 
so where you see one or more circles, that dealing is a hit. In dealings where you don't see any circles, you've got a win. I've put an arrow by each win, and there are 11 of them. That's when the one is inserted between, in this case, the two and the three. If I insert the ones between the three and the four, or between the four and the five, or at the end, I find that in each of those cases also, there are 11 wins. That means of the 120 total possible arrangements, 11 times 4, which is 44, 44 of them are wins. And therefore, the correct answer, the probability fraction, is 44 over 120, which, reduced to lowest terms, is 11 thirtieths. So that is the answer, and there you have my solution to my probability challenge. What's the probability? Probability is a topic that I am pretty weak on mathematically. And if you generalize this problem, having, say, more than five cards involved, I become very weak. But with five cards involved, I can do it as I have tried to show you here. Thank you for watching this solution video.